Hi, this video is for parents. Parents, today we're gonna to play a game called Touch It With Your Children. You need to do a little bit of setup for this game to make sure that they can be pretty independent with the activity. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna set up a wall like this. So I have construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, you can use white paper and just have your children color the a portion of the paper um, the different colors. So I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. And you'd wanna set it up the same way. The next thing we do is there's gonna be two videos. The first adaptation of the video, your child are, is not gonna have anything on their hands. They're gonna be the student that knows their right and their left side of the body. So we're just gonna have them um, stand in front and we're gonna call out different colors for them to touch with, with either their right or their left hand. If your, your kid is kind of like in between and they really, um, they're, they kind of know where their right and their left hand is, but they're not 100% and they know their letters, put an R on their right hand and an L on their left hand. And then when you call out right hand red, they're going to be able to look at their hand and look at that letter R to remember right starts with R. Um, if that is a little too complex and and they're not going to be able to, to do that successfully. Put a circle on their left hand and put a star or an X, I, I'm sorry, an X on their right hand. And then we're gonna call out right hand on red and, or sorry, we're gonna call out X on red, circle on blue, and they'll be able to look at that hand, their hands for that reference. It's really important when they do this activity that they stand with their feet planted on the ground. Um, when kids have trouble crossing the midline of their body, they often will shift their whole body to avoid crossing their midline with their hand. And that's what we want to try to help them do with fluidity. So by making sure that they keep their um, feet planted on the ground, um, we're gonna be able to really enhance that crossing midline skill. So the two things that we're working on today primarily are crossing midline and right left side awareness. But what it's also doing is it's a great activity to help your child regulate their body. It's a great body brain activity because we're using all of those things to try to help us stay focused and center ourselves. So again, we're gonna have them stand with their feet planted shoulder width apart and you're gonna call out X on purple, circle on orange etc etc I'm gonna make two videos where I am either performing the activity while calling it out or I'm just calling them out you can play with slime in one minute when I'm finished yes you can um, but sorry guys I'm sure we're all living this right now um, but um, you're going to be able to use those videos or you don't have to use those videos and you can be the one calling it out. Another great motivator for your children is having them be the ones to call it out for you to do the activity. Um, so that might be another way to kind of get them a little bit more motivated to do the task. All right, thanks so much guys.